the general concept of what the Earthship vessel does is it's a, it is a vessel. We don't call it a house, we call it a vessel. And it is a vessel that will uh, exist on this earth and encounter the phenomena of this earth, and there are many phenomena of this earth, uh, to provide sustenance for people. And um, if we don't do this, then we are dependent on infrastructure. Infrastructure is very scary and very dangerous and very mismanaged. And the goals of infrastructure are more about power and money than they are sustenance of people. So we have kind of taken this into our own hands to create a vessel. And then when we analyzed that whole uh, thing, sustenance of people, we distilled it down to what is the minimum number of things that people need for just life, uh, existence, you know, uh, not anything beyond that. So we have come up over the years with six things. Uh, one is people need comfortable shelter. The airship must be warm when it's cold outside and cool when it's hot outside without fossil fuel. So we have to encounter the physics of the planet to do this. And they designed the building. It has nothing to do with architectural whims or anything else. They need water. Water is reusable. Uh, in New Mexico, here in Taos, we get seven inches of water per year, and that's not enough. But if we take that water and take a shower in it, and then we recapture that shower water and run it through botanical cells, which are rubber-lined uh, planters in the hallway that grow plants and food, which then in turn clean up that water with their roots spitting out oxygen, uh, we capture the water again and flush the toilet with it. And then we take the toilet water out to an anaerobic processor and into rubber lined cells to do landscaping with. So that's, that's comfortable shelter, that's water, and that's uh, zero discharge sewage treatment, all, all relating to each other. And then there's electricity, and uh, everybody knows about wind-produced electricity and solar-produced electricity. But one thing to point out about our ships is because they do so many things for themselves, they need less electricity. Since an Earthship heats itself, it doesn't need electricity to be involved in heating. Since an Earthship provides its own water, it doesn't need electricity to pump a well. So an Earthship, by definition, needs less electricity, and we get that electricity easily from the sun and the wind. And we need something to do with what we call garbage. We invented garbage. Uh, it didn't exist before humanity. So we need to, to figure out how to use our garbage. And there's a lot of things being attempted, but nothing's really that successful. So we're just trying to make these vessels consume garbage in their construction in, in place of a lot of manufactured materials. And as we keep doing this, we find out that, uh, that the things we call garbage, tires, cans, bottles, cardboard, some of these things are manufactured better than the materials that are manufactured for construction, which in many cases are garbage themselves. So we have taken these six things and addressed them in a building that we call, it's a vessel, that we call the Earthship. And that is the, the definition of and rationale for this thing, this vessel, that we call Earthship.